there are jobs uh, that are out there uh, that, that are high paying jobs, family sustaining jobs that are in great demand in today's economy. Can you tell us a little bit about Thaddeus Stevens and how it fits in the, uh, it fits in the filling these jobs? The jobs you're talking about, Representative Knowles, are um, what we call the skills gap. Uh, we have, last year we had 1,400 employers with over 3,000 jobs for 400 graduates. And uh, our students pick between a number of job opportunities. And that was great for our students, great for the college, but really not great for the economy of Pennsylvania because a lot of those companies didn't get the human resources they needed. They could do 30 to 40 to 50 percent more revenue and, and business than what they're currently doing if they had the skilled employees that they need. 98 to 100 percent of the students that graduate from Stevens Technology have careers. Correct. And they are very good family sustaining careers. Our median starting salary is $42,500. Our median student loan debt is only $9,000. Our graduates drive the economy. They're not sitting at home with mom and dad trying to pay off student loan debt. They're out there, they're raising families, they're buying homes. They're living the American dream of taking vacations, buying cars, and, and having a career progression that, that's very uh, spectacular when you look at it in comparison to their colleagues. How can we, as a state legislature, maybe help you? We've asked for $4 million. That $4 million would allow us to lease an additional 500,000 square feet, um, which would allow us to grow our programs. At the same time, we're looking for a capital project because we have a dining hall that was built in the 1970s for 150 students. We have 1,200 students today. There are 2,800 students that want to go to Stevens every year. Those are the applications that you have and you can only fulfill 700 of those. That number continues to grow. And, and that number continues to grow. We're the only two-year technical college owned by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Why aren't we producing six or 700 graduates to begin to scratch the need that's out there and actually grow the economy and change the revenue deficit uh, uh, issue that we have currently in the Commonwealth?